Hi, I'm Maya, a member of FRC Team Wave Robotics from Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Today I'll be reading with Sharky, and today's book is Pluto, Not a Planet, Not a Problem, by Stacy McAnulty. Nice to meet you. The name is Pluto, and I'm a proud, playful, and popular non-planet. Think of me like a lovable family pet. Think of me like a loyal friend. Just don't think of me as a boring old planet. Planet Schmanet, I say. Our solar system has eight planets. Mercury, the fast one. Venus, the hot one. Mars, the red one. Earth, the one with the ice cream and books. Jupiter, the big one. Uranus, the sideways one. Saturn, known for his rings. Neptune, the last one. And then there's me, the tiny, adorable one. But I'm not a planet. We were all born more than 4.5 billion years ago. We're basically from the same litter. I love my planet-filled family, but I never felt like one of them. I'm special. The runt. Even smaller than Earth's moon. Like Earth, Mars, and the others, I spin about my center. But I also spin with Sharon, my largest moon. We're playmates, circling each other. At least four other moons are a part of my pack, too. Styx and Nyx, Kerberos, and Hydra. I'm a pokey little non-planet taking 248 Earth years to trot around Sun. And my orbit is unique and not very planet-like. It's tilted. I'm round, a very popular and fetching look in our solar system. And check this out, I have a heart. This spot is called the Tombow Regio. It's a humongous area of flat ice surrounded by mountains of ice. I'm frozen, but friendly. My average temperature is negative 387 degrees Fahrenheit. To find me, you have to back up, back way up. If Earth were only one step away from the sun, I'd be 39 steps away from the sun. Ancient earthlings gazed at the night skies, but could never spot me, no matter how much I howled or yelped. Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn can be seen with the naked eye. That means an eye without a telescope. And an eye without underwear. And then, more than 240 years ago, in 1781 to be exact, humans used a telescope to discover Uranus. And 65 years later, in 1846 to be exact, they glimpsed Neptune. I had to wait and wait and wait. I was getting dog tired until best day ever, February 18th, 1930. I was no longer astray. Talk about puppy love. Earthlings adored me. They declared me the ninth planet. An 11-year-old girl from England suggested my name. I was doggone excited to be added to the family portrait. Over the years, humans set out to know me better. They used telescopes in space to snap pictures. Hello, Hubble. Oh, that's a good one. And eventually, they sent a spacecraft to do a flyby. It took 9.5 years to reach me. Hello, New Horizons. Oh, that's a really good one. Scientists needed 76 years to realize I wasn't like the original eight planets. They made official rules. A planet must orbit sun, be round, and clear the neighborhood. Clear the neighborhood. This means being big enough to scare away all other objects in my path around the sun. But I'm too friendly, and I don't mind sharing my space. Astronomers came up with a new breed. Dwarf planet. And I wasn't alone. Eris and Ceres were named dwarf planets too. Years later, Makemake and Haumea joined us. Someday, I bet there will be even more of us non-planets. So, remember the name is Pluto. I'm not a planet, and that's not a problem. FIRST has opportunities for learners of all ages to engage in robotics, from kindergarten through high school. For more information, visit firstinspires.org. Thanks for joining us on Reading with Robots.